so while the apartment's empty and it's just me, I'm gonna use it to my advantage to clean up. I also hate taking on all this duvet cover and then like making the bed after. back to the channel if you're new around here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back welcome to a productive sunday in my life we're gonna get our life in order today not really sure what that's gonna look like i went to bed honestly with the mindset that i was just gonna make today a very productive day in regards to cleaning and cleaning mainly cleaning to be honest because i feel like the apartment could use a good deep clean that's kind of what's on the to-do list today is i want to mop the floors potentially wipe down some countertops we need to do some laundry aka strip the bed clean the bathroom a little bit you know just all of the little housekeeping items that i haven't had the chance to get to recently john is actually skiing today which i am extremely extremely jealous of every time he goes skiing i just honestly get depressed <laughs> so i'm trying to keep myself distracted and like i feel like i have to give myself things to look forward to or give myself some sort of to-do list when he goes out and goes skiing because i obviously wish that i was with him on the mountain and could do all that and yes i could go to keystone or breckenridge i don't even really know where he went today i probably keystone i would assume um yes i could go to the towns with him and like hang out and go to a coffee shop but i just feel like it would be more productive for me to stay here and clean and do things around here rather than just like hang out and be depressed on or near the slopes for four hours so that's where he is today so while the apartment's empty and it's just me i'm gonna use it to my advantage to clean up if you guys have boyfriends or if you live with your significant other or if you even live with roommates i feel like the second that i clean anything up he's right behind me recreating the mess and he doesn't do it intentionally but it'll be like i'll organize the coffee table or i'll put his video games away or I'll put his computer away and the second that I put it away, he's right behind me pulling it back out. So I really like to use the opportunities when I have the apartment to myself to give the apartment a deep clean. And if he comes home later and pulls everything back out again, it is what it is, but at least it was clean for the few hours that I was here by myself. That is what I gave myself to look forward to today since I can't ski. But I just wanted to say good morning. I'm having a decaf coffee. This is my first decaf coffee on the espresso machine, like a full cup. You guys know that I'm cutting out caffeine with the health issues that are going on. And if you aren't familiar with the health issues, I talked about them in my last vlog. So you can go catch up there. It's like the first 12 minutes of that vlog. So you don't really have to search for it. But I am cutting out caffeine, specifically caffeinated coffee. Because one, my anxiety has just been really bad lately. Two, caffeine is just like not great for you in general. Three, I'm dizzy and I feel like having caffeine would just make it worse. So I ordered a bunch of decaf Nespresso pods off of the Nespresso website just because I miss having a morning coffee not even for the caffeine just for the taste for the vibes I just genuinely miss like holding a cup of coffee I ordered that and this is my first decaf cup and I will say it is pretty good I'm a big fan of it I really like it and it was a great investment well before we get the cleaning started I'm gonna make myself some breakfast I've been trying to eat breakfast like within the first 30 minutes to an hour 
and when I wake up because I feel like it kind of helps with the dizziness and the lightheadedness a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make myself some pancakes, have some fruit, and we can go from there. Finished my coffee, watched some YouTube, hung out on the couch for a little bit, and now we're getting to the cleaning part. I'm gonna start by stripping the bed because I feel like washing the sheets takes so long because I have to both wash and dry them, obviously. I also hate taking on all this duvet cover and then like making the bed after. Truthfully, my least favorite thing to do, but it has to be done. So I'm gonna start by doing this and then I think that I wanna mop the floors because they're pre looking pretty gross. I've been trying to keep the apartment pretty clean, especially dust wise, just because dust can trigger allergies and just with everything going on. I'm just trying to keep myself as healthy as possible. So I think we're gonna mop the floors at some point today too, but I'm gonna do this first and then go from there. It's literally so static -y. Like, what is going on? down the bathroom, floors, kitchen, dust, the whole nine yards and the amount of time that it took to wash and dry the sheets and now the sheets are officially dry. So now comes my least favorite part of actually putting them on the bed. There's nothing worse than putting on a duvet cover and sheets, it's just not my favorite thing to do, but I know that it'll be so worth it when I crawl into bed tonight and have fresh clean sheets. It's just gonna make tonight's sleep 10 times better. Bed is fully made, put back together. Hallway is clean, floors are mopped. The only thing I have left to do is put the satin pillowcases on those pillows, but I let them air dry because I think you're supposed to air dry satin pillowcases to help preserve the fabric. And then the bathroom is all cleaned up. I'm cleaning the toothbrush holder where the toothbrushes go. So that's in the dishwasher, mirror's all cleaned up. And then we have the living room and the kitchen. Everything is good to go. Perfect timing that we wrapped everything up because John is on his way 
back from skiing now he said that the conditions were really really icy today and also there were a ton of people on the mountain i think because it's spring break so he cut his ski day a little bit short it's 1 30 now he'll probably be back within like the next hour or so so i'm glad i wrapped up all the cleaning while he was still out of the apartment and it'll be all clean when he gets back we'll see how long it lasts being clean because he's gonna bring back all his ski stuff and like open it up and air dry it and stuff like that in the hallway so it's gonna get messy again here soon but at least for the next little bit the apartment is spick and span i think i am gonna go down to the gym at some point whether it's now or within the next hour and get a little bit of cardio in or maybe i'll go for a walk outside it's a little chilly out though i think it's like 40 degrees i don't have my phone on me but I do want to get some sort of movement in today. I have been moving my body a lot, just cleaning and stuff like that. I feel like the more I move, it kind of helps me get my balance back just a little bit. Honestly, not fully, but it's just good to not sit on the couch all day, every day, obviously, and to move my body because I feel like the more I move my body, the quicker I'll get better and we'll have my balance back or that's the thought process at least. So I'm glad I like kind of spent the majority of the day moving around the apartment, even if it was just cleaning. But I do think I want to get some sort of workout in. I just haven't decided what kind of workout I want to do yet. And then I don't know what we have going on tonight. John did mention potentially seeing Dune tonight, although I don't know how I feel about seeing that on a Sunday. I would have rather seen it as a matinee show at noon instead of 7 p.m. or whatever time we go when he gets back because I just like to have my Sunday evenings as like chill, get ready for work, and kind of prep for the work week. So if we go see Dune, I wouldn't be able to do that. Although I did kind of reset for the day, I guess already. So we'll see what we end up getting up to, but that's just like my thought process right now. I'm thinking gym, come back here, shower. It's a hair wash day, so I need to do that and then see where the rest of the evening takes us. I was just in the elevator coming down to the parking garage and I was riding this elevator with this guy and he had a corgi and his corgi's name was Pickles. And I think it's so funny when people name their dogs or their animals or pets just abnormal names. I probably wouldn't as a pet owner because that's just not it would have fit me as a person but it, i just think it's funny it caught me off guard too his dog came up to sniff me in the elevator which i don't really care when dogs do that I, i'm obviously dog friendly pet friendly but his dog came to sniff me in the elevator and he was like pickles no i literally was like oh it's fine and i was like trying to hide my smile because obviously it's an abnormal name i'm sure he gets comments all the time about his dog's name being Pickles, but I just thought it was really cute and funny. And the corgi was really cute, so that just made my day. I'm getting ready to head to Trader Joe's. I did a little workout like you guys saw, took a shower, and then I laid in bed for a little bit and all of a sudden mustered up the motivation and energy to go to the grocery store. We've been frequenting King Supers and Whole Foods a lot recently, specifically Whole Foods. <laughs> We've been spending so much money on groceries, which is fine because I'm trying to get the health in check. I've been trying to eat better foods and just an overall better diet. Whole Foods has been like my go-to grocery store, but I'm going to try to go to Trader Joe's and pick up some like inexpensive produce and some healthy frozen meals and just see what else they have. I also am just getting a little bit stir crazy and would love to get out of the house. I'm driving to a Trader Joe's near me. There are two I think. I just haven't decided which one I wanted to go to. There's one that's a 12 minute drive and one's a 17 minute drive. I feel like I'm gonna go to the one that's a 17 minute drive because I feel like the parking lot is gonna be better. Hopefully we'll come out with a good grocery haul and I'll show you guys what I end up getting after I go. This is proof of what I was talking about earlier. Looks like I didn't clean anything all day. <laughs> Time for Trader Joe's haul. I would love for someone to do a study on the parking lots at Trader Joe's because I have never been to a Trader Joe's where the parking lots haven't been extremely chaotic. I don't know if they're just not accounting for the number of people that shop at Trader Joe's or what it is and so the parking lots are really small, but Every single Trader Joe's that I've ever been to that has a parking lot, it's a nightmare to drive to. That was my driving experience <laughs> going to Trader Joe's. And honestly, shopping experience was fine. It really wasn't that busy for a Sunday. I don't know if it was just the location that I went to or what, but I didn't get too many groceries because they just didn't really have what I was looking for or 
nothing really sounded too great, but I got baby spinach, strawberries. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to eat these quick or else they're gonna go bad because they don't look that great. Frozen turkey burgers for a quick dinner sometime this week. Frozen pre-seasoned Brussels sprouts. I never had a season. Brussels sprouts, but the few times that I've gotten the frozen Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's, I think they have a few different mixes. I really like the way that they season it. I guess I could just look at the ingredients and copy that, but they just always taste better for some reason. Got some pineapple chunks. I've been craving pineapple, but the pineapple at uh, Whole Foods has been like $10, and this was $4. So a win is a win. Chicken, turkey bacon. That was our first bag. And then second bag has all of the treat yourself stuff. I have dark chocolate, peanut butter cups. I'm obsessed with these. Scandinavian swimmers. These are also really, really good. I know I'm trying to eat healthy, but I, I do have a sweet tooth. So I do need something to fix a sweet tooth every now and then. And John really likes these too, so it won't just be me eating them. And then I've seen a lot about these Go Macro bars lately. They're protein bars with 11 grams of protein. I got the peanut butter chocolate chip one and then the oatmeal chocolate chip. They're organic, vegan, and gluten free. So I'm excited to try these. I was previously doing the Cliff Bars, but the Cliff Bars have gluten in them. So I'm trying to find a new protein bar that I like. Then I have two ginger shots. I'll probably take one of these tonight after I put all this stuff away. And then last but not least, kombucha if you have been around the channel since these village days i was literally addicted to this kombucha from trader joe's it's the synergy raw kombucha brand but trader joe's is the only place allowed to sell the strawberry lemonade there is so much sugar in this i'm sure yeah 16 grams of sugar so much sugar in this but this flavor is arguably the best flavor that this brand sells and you can only get it at Trader Joe's. So I decided for nostalgic treat myself purposes, I wanted to pick one up. So that was it for the Trader Joe's haul. It didn't go too crazy. I'll probably end up having to go to King Supers or Whole Foods at some point this week, but I feel like this will get us through at least tonight, tomorrow, and possibly Tuesday in regards to dinners and snacks and lunches and things. And then we can revisit the grocery list. I feel like Trader Joe's is one of those grocery stores where you can't just go to Trader Joe's to get your weekly groceries. You have to go to Trader Joe's plus an additional store because Trader Joe's never sells everything that you're looking for. I'm gonna put all this away and probably hang out for a little bit. I'm also probably gonna take one of these because I'm in the mood for it. You want one? Maybe make your letter.